ahead. So welcome to the Gein Science Hall and Ralph Planetarium. The Gein Science Hall is out there, by the way. This is the Ralph Planetarium, named in honor of Rabbi Ralph. And uh, this is the 2017 Bullet Lecture in Astronomy. Uh, the Bullet Lecture in Astronomy is uh, the result of a generous endowment to the William Marshall Bullet Fund. William Marshall Bullet was the Solicitor General under William Howard Taft, president from 1908 to 1912. He was a, a lawyer, but he was also interested in many other things. He was very interested in mathematics and astronomy, and uh, he supported certainly the study of, of science in his own interest and his legacy, which we very much appreciate uh, from the generosity of his family, and, uh, Mr. Lowry Watkins Jr., is helping to support this sort of education about science, public education of science, and also the uh, the uh, support of our students. And uh, I would like to uh, invite Mr. Lowry Watkins Jr. to come up here to recognize our students uh, who have won these awards. And um, we have a couple of certificates. Do we have the certificates here? <coughs> Okay, uh, I would like to call down first uh, Brianna Mills and Samir Kuznick to be recognized <laughs> for the board best paper in the strong We have our photographer, John, thank you, for bullet best paper in, uh, in astronomy. Uh, Brianna did a paper on uh, the search for dust echoes in the interstellar medium. Can you tell us the title of your paper? Uh, it's Looking for Galactic X-ray Transient Light Echoes. It's a <laughs> lot of jargon there. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for really bright stuff in the sky that have like rings around it. <laughs> this, was, this was using X-ray data from the, uh, from the Maxi X-ray detector on the International Space Station. <laughs> and it was done under the direction of uh, Sebastian Heinz and Leo Corrales at uh, the University of Wisconsin. And then Samir also wrote a paper. What's the title? Uh, measuring sizes and shapes of galaxies. It's not very jargon. So. <laughs> okay. And that was done under the direction of Dr. Ben Holberda, who's here. Is he here? Okay, thank you very much for coming. And so this uh, best paper award, normally we have one award per year. And we, uh, this year, we have joint winners uh, was voted on by the astronomers on the faculty. And so I would like to uh, present them to uh, Mr. Watkins, Jr. to, uh, to receive their awards. Um, and I confess, this is my bad. I don't have the certificates. I don't know where they are. Uh, they are probably locked away in an office someplace. But we will get them to you. Uh, we will get them to you uh, tonight at dinner. So, uh, thanks, and uh, thank you very much. And, uh, I'd like to also recognize a student for the Bullet Scholarship. And the Bullet Scholarships, the Bullet Best Paper Award has been going for about four or five years. And we have several winners here. Are there previous winners for the Bullet Best Papers here? Could you please stand up? Mm -hmm. Jeremy Hornbeck, Asha Nagaia, uh, Karen Collins was here. Uh, the Best Paper is because of the uh, desire to write up your results. In science, if you don't tell people about your <laughs> results, then you basically haven't propagated the information into the public sphere. So writing up your work, is doing your paperwork, crossing your T's and dotting your I's is very important. So that's why we want to reward and recognize people finishing up work and writing it up to, to a completion. And for the Bullet Scholarships, those have been going since 2001 or 2002. And we have uh, a number of alumni here. Are there any former Bullet Scholars here? Asha is one. Could you stand up, please? And Nick, and Jeremy Hornbeck, and Brian Wagers, and Jamie Todd. And we actually have a number of others in places like Stanford, uh, 
UCLA, one recently got his PhD at Rice, uh, one got his PhD at Oregon, one's a postdoc at Harvard, and so on. So many of them are not here, they've gone on to the wide world to uh, push back the frontiers of science. So I'd like to recognize this year's Bullet Scholar, and it's Brianna Mills. I'm down here again. I would like to congratulate you publicly for your academic achievements because uh, the Bullet Scholarship is judged on a combination of your coursework, but more than that, also your uh, enthusiasm for astronomy, your public outreach. Brianna is active, as she's been active in the Society of Physics Students. She's also active in the Society of Women in Physics and Astronomy. She was active in some eclipse work this year. There was a really good eclipse, and uh, there's gonna be another one in 2024, which I want you to see. And she also does astronomy research. So this is basically the complete package of what we would like our students to do. And so uh, our Bullet Scholars have a tradition, a long tradition of going on into doing great things in the graduate school, high school teaching industry, and so we, uh, we look forward to your contributions and to you coming back as an alumna and giving advice to our students. Thank you very much. So that brings us on to the main event. Um, actually, we 